Hey guys, this is a video from A11021085 on how to make your own custom distribution of Linux. So if I go up to the website here, it's customnimblix.net and uh, this lets you create your own custom Nimblix live CD generator, which is uh, basically creating your own custom version of Linux. So if I go ahead and click next, it'll have the minimal custom and recommended settings. I'm going to go ahead and click custom and then next and it'll say what do you want to install on it. I'll install office, network, multimedia and uh, that's it. And then I'll go to next. Now it's asking what kind of office do you want to, do you want to install. I'm going to go ahead and click open office and click next. And for network it has Firefox, Opera, Sambra, Wireshark, Remote Desktop, Pigeon, and uh, all these other things. I'm going to go ahead and click on Pigeon and Firefox and click Next. And for multimedia, I'm just going to click this because it's media player. And then Next. And now it's going to ask you to choose your own wallpaper. So I'm just going to go ahead and click, I don't know, Abstract and click on this and Next. And then this will be volume configuration. So I'm just going to click Next. Then uh, it'll show your uh, login and your password. I'm, I'm going to go and store that in a text document. I'm just going to name it A11021085 code. And then I'm going to open it up and just type in uh, login, login root. Password tour, and I'm gonna save it. And then I'm gonna go and click next. Yes, I want it in English. And uh, this shows what I installed on it. I'm gonna click next on that. And then if you click this button here, it'll render your image. So, uh, but it says that uh, I've already generated uh, a disk with Nimblix on it today, so uh, I can't exactly can't exactly make two in one day. You can only make one in a day. So I'm just going to go and open VirtualBox and show you guys the one that I made earlier today. I call it Nix Custom Linux Distro. I'm going to open it up. It's already got the live CD installed inside of it. So uh, I, so you don't have to mount the CD. And when it comes up to this page, I'm just going to wait the five seconds. And then uh, it'll load up a little slow because it'll have all these... Uh, lines that load up telling the CD to load up but uh, I'm just gonna wait for it to load now it's about almost halfway done loading right now I'm sorry if this is taking a little while I want this video to be moderately short Still loading. Okay, it's, all, it's more than halfway done now. It's starting the system. Alright, here we go. I'm going to full screen it so we can see it. Okay, it's loading up. Loading the desktop. And we've got my desktop loaded up. We've got a two desktop icons over here, my home folder and my system folder. Down here at the bottom we have the uh, K menu which is like the start menu in Linux. You can log out, lock, lock, lock the session, the, you got your run command. Personal files, find files and folders, control center. You got utilities like your desktop, editors, file, PM. You got your system stuff. Uh, you got system settings. You got uh, Office, which is all my open office stuff. Uh, multimedia, all this multimedia stuff. Uh, Internet, like Firefox and Pigeon and uh, the Concord web browser, I think. You got a little bit of games, not that many, because uh, I didn't get that many. And then, uh, oh wait, those are graphics, this is games. And then uh, down here we have the uh, terminal program right here. We got the Concord web browser, the Firefox 2 web browser the 
Junk Music Player and the K Player and a K3B CD burning. Then right here, these 1, 2, 3, and 4 are virtual desktops, like spaces. And then we got the bar over here. So uh, if you go and click on uh, Configure Desktop, you can like configure your desktop wallpaper, uh, configure the behavior of the desktop. Here you can uh, decide how many virtual desktops you want. You can even go up to 20. Then you can set up your screensaver and display. But uh, I like having it at four virtual desktops right now. Uh, the Ubuntu Dragon as my desktop wallpaper. And uh, another cool feature in this is that if you click on this little arrow on the bar on the side, it actually slides the bar off the screen and you have more space to do your work. And you can just click on the arrow to get the bar back. So uh, this is my custom version of Linux. Uh, I made this off of that one website. Just remember it is... Uh, Wait, I'll just let me go and open up the website. Sorry if this video is a little boring or a little long. Sorry. It's customnimblix.net. I'll post the link in the description. It's all only a couple of clicks and a couple of decisions, and then you can make your own distribution of Linux right here you can make your own live CD and you can burn it to a disk and uh, I'm not really sure how to install it but uh, it's a work in progress so uh, it's my own version of Linux so uh, thanks for watching this has been a video from A11021085 so uh, see ya